Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's go over images. Almost every custom mobile application or any application, you're gonna need your own images. Um, so it's not just gonna be the platform that we have that's built in, but we're gonna to have to have our own pictures, custom icons, and things like that that we're gonna have on our mobile application, no matter what it is. Now, we haven't gone over that for something so critical and so important because it wasn't always that easy for me to go through. So I had to go through a number of times. Again, I know I'm repeating myself, but that's the reality in order to understand that. It's actually not that bad, but uh, let's go through it, okay? So there are several ways of getting images onto your mobile application. Um, the most common one will be if you get a application, you're downloading it from somewhere else or you're downloading it from your own computer into your phone, what you're going to do is you're going to get that application. It's going to have all of the files in it, all the pictures and images, right? You're going to download it into the phone and then the phone is going to access the drive somewhere inside of there in order to pull up the image onto your application, right? So that's the most common way we're going to actually get our images. So how do we do that? Well, First of all, we have to actually get create a folder to put all of our images and we just dump everything inside of there, okay? So it's gonna be my app. Well, with your application, right click, new, and it's gonna be a new directory right there, okay? Create the new directory and call it assets, or you could call it anything you want, images, pictures, whatever you want, and you just dump all of your pictures inside of there. Um, Flutter supports PNG, JPEG, I'm blanking on the types. Um, the, uh, most images that you can put inside there, it's going to be able to support, okay? I just can't think of any other um, image type at this point in time. Um, once you do that, you have to go down pubspec.yaml, okay? So that's from a long ago. We haven't touched it in a long time. Here is our pubspec.yaml. And then we go down under Flutter. It's going to say Assets, okay? Um, this is going to be um, have the pound sign, remove the pound sign, and notice the indentations, because that's important. Flutter is all the way to the left. Uses material design is indented. Assets is along the same line. Assets, by the way, it is not the same name as this folder here. It's just called assets. That's what just Flutter calls it. This right here is the name of the folder. Okay, so if you called your folder images or pictures or stuff here. Um, you're going to put the name of the folder right here, slash, and the name of all of the images. And they're all separated by the notice the dash right there, dash, new line, it's going to be dash, asset, slash, next picture, dot PNG, and so on. And just put them all inside of there and go ahead and save it. Okay. Then when we go to the main, then we're done and we can actually access the information. So this is going to be simple and straightforward just because you know, we're, we're still learning right inside of here. Um, simple, first app, it's going to be a stateless widget, image, dot, image app, new scaffold, and I'm going to put it in the center. I'm going to put it in a, in a container so the container will show where it is and I'll give it a certain height. And as the child, I'm going to put a picture widget. And here is the picture widget. Now, remember when I mentioned it, sometimes you have certain... Um, widgets and you have to attach them to a parent widget, right? So you can't just get um, asset image and you can't just throw it into the container itself. Or you can, but it doesn't actually work very well. And so you almost have to put it with particular parent widgets. I think we've review, reviewed that several times. In my mind, this is almost like, I hate to get a little bit philosophical, but, but it's sort of like a... Um, a molecule. Okay, so I like to think of in the level of a molecule for so for if you don't know what a molecule is, um, a molecule is the lowest amount, the smallest you can break down a substance before it stops becoming that substance. Okay, so for example, water is two parts hydrogen atoms and one part oxygen. You can break it down to a molecule, but if you break out the hydrogen parts from the oxygen, it no longer becomes water. Okay, it's no longer H2O, it becomes hydrogen and oxygen, which have completely different characteristics from the water. Okay, so that's what a molecule is. <laughs> 
silly tangent. The reason why I think of it that way is because I this is the same thing as a widget. So certain widgets, like an asset widget, you have to connect it to parent widgets almost like a molecule. So it doesn't come by itself. You have to connect it to some other supporting widgets in order for it to be a true functional widget. Okay, so this is the smallest I can actually break out the um, image that we're going to import into our system. And so it has as parent widgets, decoration image, box decoration, decorated box. Okay, so I got all of that. If you try to break any of these up and put them inside of there, it doesn't work very well. All right, so what I'm going to insert inside of here, stateless widget, return decorated box. So what is decorated box? Decorated box is the thing in which you're going to go ahead and put the image itself. So it's going to be basically the specifically a container specifically for an image. All right. And we're just going to put it in the center and we're going to put text my image. So it's kind of be like a label. I don't know if you can see that it's right there. My my image and position. So you could put the, the image it's either going to be in the background or the foreground. Okay, so it's it has an, a label text, which is the child, as well as the position. So if I put this in the foreground, notice, look at the image right there as I hit the refresh. It goes away, right? It's not gone. It's just behind the image. So now the image is in the foreground. It's in front of the text. And then if we put it back the way it was before, the image is behind the text called my image. Okay, so the label, the words are in front of the picture. That's why it looks like that. Okay. Then we're going to have decoration um, as part of the decorated box. And it's going to be, so this is sort of like the decorated boxes, like on HTML, it's kind of like canvas. Okay, it's like something that you draw on. And then the box decoration is going to be the, the immediate structure, the container that holds the image itself. Well, it's the second to last. But what this has is th this gets us a little bit more idea in terms of what's in the background and where it holds this. Change this to circle and we can take a look at the background. So that's what, what the background of it actually looks like. That's the box decoration. So we could change the structure of it if we want to. Um, I'm not sure about what the purpose of something like that is. I can imagine that if you had like things moving around the screen and something touches, you're moving something and it touches your icon or your image itself, you're going to want it to touch the box decoration. You don't want it to touch here. You want it to touch all the way at the base. I think something like that is, is what it's used for. I'm not 100%, but it seems like that's why they, they made it that way. Um, and then the image is the decoration image itself, and that contains the direct image in and of itself. Okay, so what direct decoration image does beyond the asset image, I'm not sure, but it, it probably has some function. This, but that, those are the parent widgets that we absolutely need for the asset image. Finally, asset image is how we grab this image from the assets right inside here. Again, name of the folder and then where it's located, it, the, the name of the image. We get that, we throw it inside of here, and that's where the image comes from. Okay, so it was a little bit complicated in and of itself, but now that I have the picture widget, I can grab that and I could put that anywhere I want to in any of my custom applications that I want to create. All right, a little bit complicated. Um, it's not certainly straightforward, but at the same time, I think the the once we get the basics down, which I think we have it down, we could start moving forward using more pictures. But there are other ways of getting pictures and images. I'm going to use them interchangeably um, inside of the uh, mobile application as we go along. Thanks.